Okay, hey, here's me here, and I'm uh, charging my uh, Lightspeed 72 volt battery right now with the uh, Lightspeed uh, variable current charger. And boy, this the the power wire gets so hot on this thing, man. I'm afraid this thing's gonna start a fire. It's so hot right now, like it's 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 almost it's hot enough where like I don't want to hold it that much. The however, the charge cable doesn't get hot at all it's got plenty of insulation I have a feeling that the wires are just not they're not they're not thick enough for this guy uh, I might not I might want to replace them but anyway um, so it, it's charging at the max right now at 12 amps so um, uh, I have an app here that can uh, that can connect to the uh, the BMS in the light speed battery so I'm going to that's what this video is about I'm going to show you um, just show you it okay so so the app is called Xiao Xiang I, I don't know if I'm saying that right but it's just this, this little elephant on it okay and it connects through uh, Bluetooth um, I think once you paired it the first time it automatically connects because it just automatically connected right there okay so uh, so yeah so it's selling us a, a temperature I don't know if you could do anything with this remainder kilometers I don't know what that is I think it has some kind of GPS functionality um, it can like track how far you're going and stuff um, and also it tells you how much current is being pushed to the battery right now so it says 11 amps so you figure we're probably losing about an amp somewhere probably to heat or something um, so this isn't exactly correct 12 amps it's actually it's actually doing 11 amps so and also says your state of charge here um, I don't think you can do anything else with this okay so that's the main screen right there and it says we're roughly where it says we're 57% that's what it says I, I don't know yeah 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 57 oh well look at that it just moved um, oh yeah so it how does that work that's interesting yeah, it has some kind of GPS function, so you can tell. I guess it, it looks like a speedometer is what it looks like. We're not, right, we're definitely hey, not sorry, moving. My camera batteries ran out, so now we're at a 62% charge now, chugging right along. Let's see what other goodies are on here. So this is the dashboard right here, um, and there's a battery state right here. So it says the total voltage is 73.69 here. Okay, the current going through it is about 11 amps, like it said. There's a serial. Oh, so the serial number is how many you have, uh, how many modules or banks you have in series. So this is a 20s battery, and then uh, the average voltage per cell is 3.6, 3. Point, almost 3.7 now. Okay. Char I don't know what these charging switch and this charging switch are. Uh, temperature number, I don't know what these are. I guess there's uh, there's more, there's four temperature sensors in the pack. So you can kind of monitor where they are. I don't really know where the temperature sensors are, so. But it looks like they're all roughly about the same. That's pretty cool. It's got four temp sensors. It's nuts, right? This was made in... Uh... April 26, 2019, so it's roughly a year old. This tells you how many times it's been cycled. Zero times, because I've never used this battery <laughs> till now. Uh, nominal capacity is 30 amp hours, okay. Uh, remaining capacity is 18 amp Wow, lots of, lots of good information here. So you can tell, so you can tell at 30 amp hours is how big the battery is, but right now it's got almost almost 19 amp hours in it and it's 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 rising because we're charging it right now okay um, there's the 
percent capacity. I'm guessing it's just dividing this number by this number to get this number, 63% right there, okay? Um, this is a version 2.0. Uh, it's, it's, and I guess it says sell over voltage and under voltage, so definitely those are some fault indicators right there. Pack over voltage, no, pack over voltage. Charge over temp, no, 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 no. Okay, so yeah, you want all of these to say no. Those are fault indicators, okay? Oh, look at this, this is a cool one right here. So this tells you the state of each, uh, of all 20 of the modules, basically, or the, the banks, I don't really know what to call them. It's like, a, you know, whatever, each each uh, each cell that's in series or or battery bank that's in series, it's telling you we got 20 battery banks in series right here, okay? Or 20 modules, and it tells you the state of each one, okay? So 3.695, and it's supposedly it's supposed to balance these. It'll balance it when even when it's not plugged into the charger. At least I think it. You can see, I guess it looks all good. I guess if you have a really big cell imbalance, it's bad. I don't really see any that are like really bad. There's, they're like hundreds, hundreds of a, um, of a volt, like within, within the, within tolerance type of thing. Okay. Some kind of protection information. I don't really know what mo most of this stuff is. Like I said, I don't really use this, so. But it's a, if you if you want to know the state of your battery and you got your phone on you, boom, it's pretty easy, right? Parameter view. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Didn't didn't do it. Params loading. Okay. So look at all that. Uh, so these are all the settings that are already in the. So you can set it for different stuff. So here, so here uh, overvolt. You don't want it to go over 4.2, so it won't let it. Um, over voltage release for 4.15 that's when it I guess will give power back under voltage is 2.6 so it, it will like kind of cut off the power if it, the voltage gets under 2.6 per per uh, per cell or per, per series um, under voltage 3 volts under voltage release okay that has something to do with and then uh, discharge over current, 60 amps. Uh, so I guess it won't let you discharge more than 60 amps. It's interesting. Um, cycle capacity, 30 amp hours. Nominal capacity, 30 amp hours. So all this stuff was already in here, so I didn't put any of this stuff in here. I guess when they were building the battery, they were doing it. Um, open balance, static balance. Um, you can change some stuff here. Can put that open or close charge balance oh, okay static balance so static balance means it's balancing it all the time I think charge balance means it only balances it when you're charging okay it's pretty cool uh, balance turn on voltage 3.8 balancing precision so I guess it's trying to balance everything within 0 0.02 volts two two hundredths two hundredths of a volt okay and um, some Hardware over current protection, hardware short circuit protection, okay? Um, I'm not gonna mess around with any of this, these settings. But that's basically the settings for the, uh, for the uh, BMS, you can change them stuff, so it's pretty cool. Um, so here's some info for the module right here. I, I mean the BMS, so this is a Shaoxiang BMS, max speed. Max, okay, I don't know, I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's some kind of password, I'm not gonna mess around with that. Charging duration, unlimited, so it'll charge for however long, you know? That's interesting, you can set a charge time limit. Um, dashboard temperature, GPS open, auto calculate off capacity, last cutoff capacity. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this that I'm probably not gonna do. And then that's the name, that's the name of the app, it's Xiaoxiang version 2.1. 0.1024 okay pretty cool stuff uh, the most important one the, the the one you probably want to check the most is this one here so let's see if we can turn let's turn the current down let's turn the current down to like six 
Okay, I just turned it down to six amps. There you go. Current is is currently putting 5.8 amps into the battery. Oh wow, man, this is really precision. Like the knob really, um, it really changes the current like in really small steps. I I was able to get it to six amps exactly. Let's try nine amps. There you go. You see it rising to about eight. Move it one more notch. One more notch. One more notch. Oh, we're at ten already. Yeah, so the um, the gauge on the charger and the gauge the the BMS are different. <laughs> They're close. They're pretty close. They're like within a, a uh, an ampere close, but not not exact. Okay, let's turn it down to like two amps. Boom! It's doing two amps right now. Yeah. So so this isn't like super accurate. This gauge here. But uh, there you go. And there's the temperature 21.6. You can't change the um, the units, unfortunately. I think it's always going to be in kilometers. Uh, what's this? Aha! So this is some kind of voltage uniformity gauge. I don't know what that means. The score is 99. I guess, I guess we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Let's go back. What else is there? I don't know what that is. Aha! Okay, so you can pull up more information at the, on the dashboard right here. It tells you the the exact voltage, the voltage variances, 3.68 to 3.69, very good. It's a pretty balanced total mileage, total travel time, 16 minutes, and average speed. So it'll it'll it can track your distances and stuff that you've been riding, but it's in kilometers. So okay, so so like I said, this is the most uh, this is the most useful screen right here. Um, it tells you your speed. How much charge you've got? Um, how much current? I don't. I don't. Um, we're not riding it right now. We're not discharging the battery right now, so I don't. I don't really know. I'd imagine this is probably be negative current if you were, if you're on the throttle, you know. Um, and then you got your temperature for the battery pack right there. So, and then and then you have extra info here with the voltage and the voltage range. The rest of this stuff is just kind of distance related stuff. Uh, what are your traveling GPS stuff? Okay, all right. So that's the Shaoxiang uh, BMS um, kind of dashboard thingy. Pretty pretty nifty device, and you can you can monitor your pack's uh, state of charge with it. So so I didn't really need to install that battery thing. I could have just used this and logged onto it. But uh, it's okay. I like to have a you know its own gauge and stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. That's the uh, Xia Xiaoxiang BMS, okay, for uh, for the light speed 20s battery, 72 72 volt 20s battery. Right, thanks for watching. Here's me out.